Hey, we're going to keep this short and simple today. Impact Wrestling, Access TV, we got a time, we got a date. One employee, at least, has put in their two-week notice. Let's talk about it on the lounge. Let's go. What's good? What's good, folks? My name is BQ, and this is the Impact Lounge YouTube channel. Thank you for swinging by, as always, if you're a regular, if you're a newbie. Hit that subscribe button. It's the number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fan. We finally got the official, like a ref with a whistle, official announcement on when Impact will air on Access TV. Now, there were some rumors floating around. I talked about them on the channel last week. There were some rumors floating around about Thursday, about Saturday. And the more I thought about it, Tuesday made a lot of sense. It wasn't something I previously said because I don't follow WWE and I didn't know that they were moving SmackDown. Now I know that. So once I knew that information, I said to myself, hey, I hope Impact Wrestling comes to Tuesdays. And there's two reasons that this makes a lot of sense. Number one, with Tuesday being the day that SmackDown was on TV, a lot of wrestling fans out there are already accustomed to watching a wrestling television program around that time of the week. Number two, which I think is really, 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 really important, and it's that there's a lot of wrestling on right now. It's very oversaturated. There's a lot of television shows on, different wrestling shows. Let's let's take, for instance, Sunday. There's a good chance between Ring of Honor, even Impact, and WWE that you're going to get a pay-per-view on Sunday. If it's a WWE pay-per-view, it's going to be like nine hours long. Then Monday Night Raw is going to bore you to sleep on Monday. Wednesday, we're going to have these Wednesday Night Wars, whatever you want to call them, between NXT and AEW. Thursday's open. Friday, that's where SmackDown's going to move to. And then if you watch Women of Wrestling, New Japan, uh, Ring of Honor. I don't even know when Ring of Honor is on TV. I do DVR it, but I got no clue when it actually airs. But there's a lot of wrestling on television. And then we've got MLW, if you watch that on YouTube. I don't know what night that's on. And then, uh, wouldn't be surprised if that was Thursday. And then you got NWA coming, which they've been teasing, doing a television taping, but uh, based off some interviews Billy Corgan did when he kicked off the NWA, I think they're taping for YouTube, much like N MLW does. I think it's a real ideal landing spot for them. I would have been cool with Thursday. Saturday was kind of weird for them, uh, but it looks like it's going to be a prime time slot on at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. And they're going to start on October 1st, I believe was the date. Um, they're going to start with, they're going to air three pay-per-views. They're going to air Homecoming first, which I'm not going to lie to you. I have not seen Homecoming. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Um, I actually was going to go to Homecoming, but that was around the time I got kind of burnt out from wrestling for a bit. I took a break. I have not seen Homecoming, so I'm looking forward to uh, watching that on TV. Then the following week, we're going to get Rebellion, which was beautiful. Badass pay-per-view. Then the following week, we're going to get Slammiversary, which was also really, really top-notch. I thought Slammiversary, top to bottom, was excellent. And then on the 29th of the month, I believe what the date was, so it's not going to be the week after Bound for Glory. It's going to be the week after that. Uh, we're going to get um, this impact, it's called, and it's most likely a Josh Matthews overload, but it's supposed to be hyping up the next week's broadcast, and it's going to have whatever untelevised match they do from Bound for Glory that you know usually we would see on a special or we might see on Explosion or something like that. So I think we're going to get one match and then uh, a lot of wrestler profiles and just hyping up the show in general. Last thing I want to talk about because I want to get out of here, I want to head home, is that Kevin Sullivan, he put a two-week notice in. Uh, he obviously did a lot of the editing, a lot of the video packages, packages that we're used to seeing on TV. He does a killer job. He's been with the company twice. And he actually came back with Jeff Jarrett when Jeff Jarrett came over for a little bit and the whole Global Force Wrestling thing happened. He's already been working with AEW. He worked out with them on Fighter Fest and uh, one or two other things that they've done. But the rumor is that he is going there. And it's a pretty strong rumor that's where he's headed. And I believe he's taking one or two people with him. I know the dirt sheets have told you, oh, he just put in a two-week notice. Impact has known about this for a little while. They're, this was not a shock to them. It was not a surprise. They've known he was leaving. They already have individuals, from what I understand, they already have individuals in place. That are, they're going to, I believe they're um, promoting from within. So they're going to move some guys up into that position. And then they made some new hires at the bottom. But I really wouldn't freak out about it. I think Impacts could use a new, uh, you know, a new presentation, something new. You know, there's nothing wrong with this. Remember how much people freaked out when J Jeremy Borash left the company, and we don't even know he's gone. Aside from not having to listen to his commentary anymore, we don't even know the dude's gone because other people, other good people, step up into those roles, 
and in a lot of cases they're doing a better job so uh, we're gonna have people who are underneath them they're gonna step up and we're gonna just get new uh, new visions new ideas you know what I mean nothing wrong with that I hope you can't hear this guy mowing the lawn behind me but I'm gonna take that as my cue to get the F out of here uh, he's blowing grass all over my car it's pissing me off so uh, let's do this thanks for swinging by the impact lounge and talk to you soon peace stop it